some of you may have noticed that I haven't been putting as much effort into my videos for the past few weeks, and that's because I've been spending most of my free time working on the shed. I have a lot of wood and tools and stuff and want somewhere dry and safe to keep it, so I thought why not build myself a shed. I started with a few measurements and heaps of planning to get an idea of how this would work. Once I figured out what was kind of going to happen, I started digging six shallow holes for the base posts. I haven't actually gone down very far because I don't need to, that's only like the length of my hand, but um, I've hit this sort of gravelly material, it's kind of like rocky and not, not dirt anymore, which means this wood when it goes in, it won't, it won't sink through. On wet days it'll get stuck by that gravel stuff. And um, yeah, it's only a couple of inches, but I've done that on both sides. I can't emphasise enough how important it is to make sure that the floor is level, so I spend a lot of time working on this. In the end, the floor is going to be too high off the ground, so instead of resting the beams on top, I decided to bolt them into the side. I also thought I'd add some weed mat underneath so that some plants wouldn't grow up and rot the floor out. Then I evenly spaced out the floor studs, just smaller than my foot. I then lay down some plywood for the floor. Somewhere between finishing the floor and building the wall frame, I lost my camera, but from now I was just adding the wall planks. After some time putting the walls on, I attached the three frames I had built and secured them to the floor. After securing the three walls together, I started framing up the roof. By raising the front roof beam slightly, it meant that the roof would be sloped and that the rain would run smoothly off the back. I used a couple of small screws with washers to secure the roof down.
The next day I worked on the front side and started to build up the wall. But about halfway up the wall, I realised I didn't have enough timber to finish it off. So I decided to make a window to fill in the space. I made the window out of the leftover roofing plastic and secured it down with some more screws and washers and hot glue. I also put hot glue on the screws as I found out that the ones that I used on the roof the previous day weren't stainless steel and then when it started to rain overnight they started to rust. So instead of pulling them out and starting again, I just covered them in hot glue and did the same with the screws on the window. Things were starting to come together as I finished off the shed by making the door. But as I was making the door, I realised I didn't spend a single dollar on the project. Other than about 10 cents for power from charging my drill, I didn't pay a single thing. The timber was from a scrap pile at a building site, the screws were from my dad's mate, the drill was from my uncle, the roof was from my auntie, and the little things like hinges for the door I just had lying around. So this shows that if you take the time to look and ask around, you can make large things like sheds for nothing but time. 